Hey, what's up, YouTube? This Eek's all coming at you here in the middle of the garage getting shit done. Feeling real good. We've been doing all sorts of stuff. Took a lot longer than I thought it was because I've been doing, you know, kind of like in depth videos the whole time. We've got damn near like six hours of this box build already filmed. And it's looking pretty good, guys. We got our big ass port flared, six inch right there. Some decorative flower pieces for our little um, port going in right here for our hotel subwoofer. This is the 12 inch box here. Roughly about 1.8 cubes after displacement and port right there. We just got done putting all the sealant in there and did some sanding. She's looking beautiful. Tell me what you think, guys. Slap a nice thumbs up. If you wanna see the whole build video, it's gonna take a lot of time to edit. I'm pretty sure there's like 36 gigabytes of, of stuff to go through. Here's the Hotel 12 from Droppin' Hertz Car Audio. Still need to dust her off a little bit, but oh, she is beautiful. And uh, what are we doing today? We're pretty much going to be carpeting. I'm hoping that with these really bright colors, it'll have a nice pop to it. And it'll look a little bit girly, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a little flower here. The, you know, here are the flower petals. It took me a long time to commit to freehanding this because I'm not a good artist, you know what I mean? Here's the leaf. The leaves, here's the flower. And if you're wondering what this little notch is, it's to designate the bottom. Here's the bottom of the port. Wham, bam, thank you, man. 22 inches tuned to roughly 39 hertz. Lots of cool stuff coming your way as far as builds. We got the 21 inch B2XM series woofer coming at you. It's gonna be a huge build. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I didn't even know what I was gonna do with this. And we're gonna be trying some new stuff. We have got some new bits that I've never used before, but I got the wrong fucking size, so I gotta return these. Hopefully they'll return them. I got two of them, a two flute and a tri flute. This is to do some flush trimming on our sub boxes, so that way, if our cuts aren't 100%, Perfect, we can run that along our edges and make sure everything's real nice and tight. We weren't able to do this on this box, but it would have made things a little bit easier, even though all we had to do is sand just a little bit. And speaking of fitting like a glove, this big ass port fits like a glove. Check it out, the VersaTune snaps right on with our little bit of uh, added paint. Bam, check it out guys. Fucking perfect. I'm also, I'm gonna push it down a little further right here and put some packing tape on it. That way nothing will vibrate loose when we're slamming on the hotel, you know what I'm saying? But check that out. That's our first little uh, addition from Big Ass Ports over there. Mr. Gailey pumping out the flares left and right. It should make our woofer here real happy. Let's take one more quick look at this bad boy. Oh my God. I fucking love that basket. I don't care how many times I've seen it. A nice fat ass around on a hefty three inch coil. Gotta love it. And sitting just above all this stuff is all my spare accessories right here. You've probably seen this chilling around in videos. We're gonna be doing all new LEDs. Here are the controllers. Ah, motherfucker! Like I was just saying, here is the RGB controller. We're gonna have one in Little Blue and Frankenstein. That'll definitely make things look a lot nicer at nighttime. And then of course we got lots of goods for our lithium. These are some blocks for our JY power cells. They're going in Frankenstein. We've got the Amp Lab for Little Blue and JY for Frankie. Once we get everything situated on the side compartment, Frankenstein is gonna be real juiced up and that's when these blocks are gonna come into play. I didn't forget about these fans. We've got the radiator fans for Frankenstein and for Little Blue, we're using these. We didn't forget about them. We just haven't really began our whole amp lab setup yet. In the back, our BC 5500s are supposedly almost here, guys. People have been getting them, JP got them, so I should be getting them real soon. I'm fucking excited. The BC 5500s, probably another couple weeks. I don't know though. So everything in here is gonna be getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until we have no more projects. Well, who am I kidding? We're always gonna have new projects to do. But let's go over here and see how bad the damage is. I still gotta clean up the joint around here, but we have a list of all the stuff that I'd like to do. The amp lab battery, remake the port in Little Blue, Lithium in Frankenstein, and the 45s in Frankenstein, which are right here. And our PSIs, oh, PSIs. My poor PSIs. Lonely does it down the stream. Big, solid, fucking beefy monster four inch coil subwoofers right here. Can't wait to install these motherfuckers. They've been sitting extra patiently all this time just waiting for us because these things are way too heavy to be manhandling all by myself. I mean, shit, we all know XO's fucking jacked as hell, but this may be a little bit too much. I mean, shit, those Contraltos were almost too much for me to put in by myself. So these being like 35 pounds heavier, oh shit, that's gonna be uh, something. Oh man. 
And going back to the list here, we have a dash cam that we're gonna be reviewing here fairly soon. It's a little tiny, tiny thing. And building my standing desk. I wanna have a desk that goes like this. So I gotta get some actuators. Um, some 12 volt actuators with some, I don't know, maybe some transfer units. And then I gotta, you know, file my taxes. I gotta get that fucking finished. And I'm almost done getting all my documents in order. So I have until April or something like that. And going just below it, of course, I want to invest in some merchandise. Shit, how many years have I been doing this and I don't even have like a dang t-shirt or stickers or anything like that. Maybe I'm gonna come up with some idea, something to offer you guys that can just, I don't know, Something EXO related. I don't have anything out there. So I'm gonna try to invest in some merchandise this year. I've got lots of goals. And the last thing on the list here is optimize my analytics. Now that may mean nothing to you, but basically it just means going over to the old videos, see what's working, see what's not, change things around a little bit to make sure that everything stays up to date. And while all that's going on somehow, I have this written up there that I have to have both systems playing by April 1st. That's gonna be one hell of a thing to accomplish. There's still so much work left to do, but I have faith. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna fucking go out there right now and see how everything's going. How are you guys doing? Feeling all right? Let me touch right here. Uh, still a little bit tacky, but I'm gonna let her dry a little more, guys. I'm, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Big Red, I totally forgot about you. Not even assembled yet. Fucked up the Saturn trying to fit this in on the uh, special tent sale. Damn, US General. Way too big to fit this in my car, but somehow I managed to fit this big, beautiful tool chest. We still have to assemble the bad bitch. Got a little bit of sawdust on there. No big deal. I expect a whole little video for organization. I'm gonna try to turn this right here into that. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm the habitual offender of being the messiest person while I'm working, but when everything's all said and done, I like to have, you know, a clean space. So that's what that's gonna be for. No more fucking clutter central over here. Everything's gonna be located inside my US General Harbor Freight Special. 150 bucks, wouldn't you believe it? God damn, I'm choking. 150 bucks, can't believe it. But you wanna know what else I can't believe? I'm going to the freaking United Kingdom. That's right. EXO is leaving the country with Vibe Audio. I can't wait, evidently there's a huge show going over there. I've got my passport, I've got fucking, oh, I've got all kinds of things. I've got a little bit of nervousness, but I can't wait to go overseas, checking out all kinds of car audio like they do over there. British audio, here we got the fucking mug. So hopefully we'll be able to get all kinds of other exciting shit over there at their hometown. So slap a big thumbs up if you're excited to see all that shit. I know I am, I've never left the country, except accidentally once when I went into Canada. Man, I can't even talk today, seriously, I'm having, I'm having problems. I think it's all this MDF dust, guys. What do you do for MDF dust? Do you use a damn uh, mask, or do you use one of those white things? I've been using this respirator, but still, it's, it, it seems like some shit gets around the edges of your mask into your face. Uh, what do you guys suggest for eliminating this MDF bullshit? I hate working with it. Look what it's done to my entire house. What the flying ass. Luckily, I have this door closed most of the time, but even in places that you didn't think that the dust would collect. Probably the most annoying part of MDF in my book, but it sculpts so well. You really can't get this easy sanding ability with other types of wood. And while I got you here, I guess I can update you on Little Blue. Everything is pretty much still the same, except I've taken it to one more dealership. Everything is still torn apart. Nobody knows what the fuck to do, but it steers and rides great without the power steering. So what have I been doing? I've just been driving around without it. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to steer at uh, slow speeds, but anything above like 10, 15, really isn't too much of a difference and it actually feels kind of cool. So we'll be putting everything back together. It's just a matter of going inside the box and grabbing all the plastic pieces we chucked back there. <laughs> the mechanics were like, what the fuck is going on in here? I had to breathe everywhere from our uh, box that didn't fit in here from Harbor Freight. Oh my word, there's my McDonald's. I was looking for that motherfucker. So yeah, that's the story on Little Blue. Be on the lookout for the PSIs in here. Well, that should just about do it for today's update video, guys. Just wanted to give you a little rundown of all the stuff that's been changing, that's been going on, projects and all that shit. Having fun over here, staying busy, so be sure to stay on the lookout on the main channel, EXO Contralto. Stay subscribed, stay live, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.